All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. And welcome to those who are just stopping by to say hi. I truly appreciate it. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful energy reading. Seeing what's going on, shall we? Before we do, y'all should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading. Please keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you, and that's perfectly all right. Take what does and let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or so I do not know your life. It is up to you to use your free will and discernment to determine that, all right? Please keep in mind that they are general. Roles may be reversed, so flip-flop yourself as you need to, okay? We also don't subscribe to gender roles over here. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, which we all have both been of. So, like I just said, roles may be reversed. Flip-flop yourself as you need to. Apply it where it lies. Otherwise, let it fly, all right? All right, y'all. I am also big on numerology, whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you are born, potentially the house that you want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you. Could just be your favorite number, could just be confirmation that you need to pay particular attention at that point in time in the message, all right? All right, y'all. At this point, you will see the decks that we are utilizing for this week. The header is going to be the wild unknown animal spirit, I think is what it's called. You see it down there because, hey, I don't have the boxes in front of me, then I'll be forgetting. And then um, the clarifier will be the wild unknown tarot. So I wanted to couple these together because, you know, I appreciate the author, illustrator, and the decks. All right. So without further ado, let's get a quick word of prayer before we go any further. All right. To the most high, heavenly, and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit, gods, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for this beautiful day. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective, no chaser. Thank you for the voice of reason, the insight, the awareness. Thank you for the love and the support. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the uplifting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray as always that the message uplifts, heals, protects, nurtures, nourishes, bring forth whatever the viewer may need, and may it play out in the lives of any and all involved to the utmost and highest good as I know you will see fit. I also ask in that prayer of protection that you block, bind, disconnect, cut cords, dissolve, return to sender, simply transmute whatever you got to do to keep us protected. All these blessings I come ask and give thanks. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe all. All right, y'all, let's get it. All right, y'all. <laughs> let's see what's going on today. Messages of the day. What messages you got for the collective today, Stan? Make it plain, please. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Y'all, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what am I to do with this? Like, y'all think I'm just like exaggerating or something. I know some of them, some of y'all do. I am not playing with this energy. We got the sea serpent out again. And honestly, when they flipped out, it was powerful. And why I laugh like that is because the phoenix was on top. And when I separated them, I saw the sea serpent. This is some heavy shit. And by heavy, it's good, like it's it's big. You know, that's what I mean by heavy. It's not dragging you down or weighing you down. Because matter of fact, with this phoenix, you... <laughs> and I'll rise up 
you might you are have come into a new i got a new attitude i'm telling y'all this sea serpent that came out every day this week thus far and it is the energy of major transformation. You have completed a major cycle. And I keep saying major because I cannot emphasize it enough. This gives me world energy. And I told y'all it's all about, too, that, that third eye vision. And so maybe you've had this powerful transformation and in coming into this enlightenment or awareness because now I'm getting that third eye chakra Piscean energy, right? The number 12 may be important to you. Check your 12th house to see what signs are coming through or even check where Pisces is co- is going through in your chart, whatever house that may be, okay? It's something about it though, right? First, second, third, and 12th houses may be important. This Phoenix energy is heavy fire, but they both are spirit like... <sighs> it's a lot. It's something about fire and water here. Balancing the two. It's, it's even bringing me temperance vibes. So you may be a, a sage, maybe confirmation. You're sage, Sagittarius, or dealing with one. Or something about Sagittarius season. The phoenix itself, like I said, is that fire energy for me. So it doesn't even just have to be Sagittarius. It can be Leo and or... I was about to say Virgo. Somebody may be on Leo, Virgo, Cusper. But uh, Leo and Aries... Okay, but heavier on the sage. Yeah, you about to a hey, somebody has metamorphed. Is that even a word? It is today. Somebody has transformed into this beautiful dragon of a butterfly. Or butterfly of a dragon, however you want to say that. Ooh. And the bottom of the deck, we got oyster. Somebody that came up at the shell or is about to, honey. Somebody about to bust. I said it the what was it, day before yesterday, step up on the scene, and then it came up even again in yesterday's reading. A oh my gosh. Didn't I say something about water? This is definitely water energy with the oyster at the bottom of the deck. And look, I'm turning the I'm turning the deck like trying to show the camera. <laughs> trying to show the camera Uh, 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 y'all anyways but i do see something bursting out like it's like a light that's trying to burst out you may have been (laughs) sprinkle me baby sprinkle me sprinkle me that's what i hear you may have uh you may have gotten a a a little sample a little taste or you may have given given somebody that i don't know that's what's coming through (laughs) and to get out loud laughing like that because hey only for the grown and sexy but yeah you done gave somebody a little <laughs> sample of your goodies of your light of your a hey, and a hey, day somebody you done caught somebody and set somebody on fire honey uh-oh uh-oh two of cups in reverse what else is this tell me more uh-oh i'm telling you this talks about a um soulmate relationships friend family or otherwise but i'm telling you i'm feeling more romantic and that's what it's giving me out of here but with it being in reverse, what is this? You may have turned somebody down. Oh, and be, it's because you gave them a look. It's not funny. It is not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Woo. Uh, because you gave them a little taste. <laughs> I heard taste of your medicine. Taste of their medicine. Taste of their own medicine. I don't know, baby. But uh, <laughs> they don't know what to do. And they really want you, but it's like, mm-mm, somebody not, somebody not trying to fulfill this contract. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I don't know why it's so funny. Whew, somebody a trip. <laughs> somebody is a trip, boy. Mm-hmm, what is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got the, and then they flipped. I think they originally was about to come out in reverse, but it flipped over and landed right on my chest. That's crazy. We got the four of swords and the two of swords and the two of swords was on top. That's what I saw first. And then when I said, oh yeah, immediately I heard somebody got blocked. Somebody blocked somebody out. Somebody cut it. You need to cut it. Somebody cut somebody out. And they like, yeah, no, nah, I'm about to, uh, <laughs> I'm about to sit here in peace. Like, you disturbing my peace, baby. I'm trying to receive this enlightenment. I ain't got time for the games. Yeah, I don't got time. I'm trying to heal. And I, uh, didn't I say with the serpent, when the serpent and the phoenix came out, somebody really went through this transformation and receiving this enlightenment? So, yeah. And I told y'all, it could be friend, family, or, or romantic. You know, it could even be a business partnership or contract that you really just like, nah. It's definitely something that you once loved. You probably still do love. But it's just like, 
mm, this is just not the greatest for me right now because it may have with this two of swords here in the center it may have caused some confusion you know indecision and all that and i'll be telling you all the time that ain't what you want if there's anything i don't care who what where that's causing that's making you feel this way mm -mm, you need to cut it because god is not a god of confusion you know what i'm saying like any decision that is needed to be made, because these twos talk about make, like a choice, making a decision, especially the two of swords. And it's like, um, if you got to, if you really got, I mean, you should always weigh the pros and cons with whatever you're trying to make a decision on. But the pros should definitely outweigh the cons and you should be at ease. You should be so calm when you make any kind of decision, because what you don't want to do is make a rash choice because you're like what they said, because you're overly emotional or you know what I'm saying? Feeling some type of way, right? You shouldn't really be feeling any kind of way. And I'm not saying like you can't be happy. Obviously, you want to be happy about the decision you make. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like you don't want to be in the in the um extreme low vibe emotions, right? Angry, upset. And that was just my stomach confirmation. Uh, what's the other one? Even depressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause what they said, don't make a um don't make a decision, don't make a long-term decision based off of temporary emotions or feelings or however that saying go. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Bottom of C, because bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles in reverse. I love it. I love it that it's in reverse, but that's what I'm saying. Because you already know you ain't trying to be left out in the cold again. And this the situation that you are blocking or rejecting or cutting out for whoever this is, you you realize that like no nah, that's what it that's what had like nah you let me down before i'm not doing that again right we're not we're not going through that again and this could very well be your own self because i told y'all somebody what i'm feeling heavy anyway when the when the headers came out the serpent and the phoenix is that this is a person somebody that went through this transformation big 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 so it could just be talking about especially if it ain't got really nothing to do with anybody else and even if it does it's more so in regards to your thoughts, your beliefs, your ideations on how you see this, that, or the other going and how you have been speaking on it. Because that, man, your words are spells. And if you ain't talking the greatest, that's why I be telling you all the time, speak love, speak, speak truth, speak light over. That's all light really is, right? Speak that in your life. That's what you shall create. And receive, of course, right? Because what you put your mind to, your attention to, that's where the energy flows and goes, right? So some of you, this may just be personal as far as you learning to like that, 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 because the two of cups can also be the masculine and feminine energies within. I'll be telling y'all that be coming into union if that's what you focused on, right? And somebody might need to be if you haven't quite yet gone through this transformation. But I feel like y'all are there. Y'all have arrived. Or you getting ready to with the oyster at the bottom of the deck. You show getting ready to bust up on, step up on the scene <laughs> with your pure light and essence showing. Because y'all already know what's in the middle of the oyster. That's that pearl of wisdom, baby. But it took a long, it takes a while to even create that, to mold that, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. and the wisdom the pearl of wisdom is that enlightenment and that is the gift y'all see that that pearl is even at that lamb's third eye right and it going back to the serpent it's all connected honey <laughs> i hope you got it anyway that's why i'm gonna leave it i love it i love it i love it congratulations so if this resonates with you you know what to do for those of you who are new that means comment your testimonies down below you never know how this may help someone grow especially and including yourselves and i pray that's what you're here for whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate it. If you want to join me for any other MOTD or any other type of video for that matter, please check the playlist in the links below. I love, 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 and would hope to see you there, okay? If not, please take care, and I love you anyway. Until the next one, be easy, y'all. Again, that love and light and the dark, you just got to balance the two, right? Make sure you use it. All right. Be easy. Deuces.